Hello, Namaste and welcome back to my channel. This is Neeraj here once again from the channel Financial Market Analysis uh, Twist by Neeraj Shah. And in the, today's video, I would like to give you a little update about this uh, metal and uh, commodity prices and uh, you know what's happening uh, basically. Uh, so, you know, and uh, to give you update so that uh, one can take the informed decision uh, regarding this uh, stocks, metal stocks. So before starting, I would just like you to request all of you to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet till subscribed and uh, put a like uh, button and uh, also you can push the notification button so that you can uh, watch the video as and when I come out uh, with uh, which I come out with uh, very frequently with some new new updates and uh, unique concepts and also I have a you know a different format also where I come out with this stock specific uh, uh, detailed analysis regarding you know that buying target and uh, uh, price targets and uh, full detailed analysis uh, of the stock uh, specific and it's a fundamental analysis which you know like all the uh, fundamental analysts do like that with very detailed analysis about the sector about uh, the particular stock so if anyone is interested you can uh, uh, you know you can ask me for the, the details because it's on the paid basis it's uh, rupees thousand per video or the twenty dollars uh, for the investors living outside India and uh, if you can uh, my email details are there down in the description box below you can send me mail and I can uh, send you the details of my bank account and you know I can share that particular video link with you so that it can be personalized for you. Uh, anyway, without uh, wasting much time, what I wanted to tell you is that today this uh, China's uh, industrial uh, output uh, growth data statistics have come and uh, it is uh, you know it has jumped uh, for the January February this industrial output growth of China jumped to grew by 35.1 percent on year-on-year -year basis for the January February two months as compared to the January February of the 2020 okay and also it was only 7.1 percent uh, growth in December for uh, this China so you can see the sequentially it has jumped up uh, tremendously which it itself shows the kind of recovery the China has managed to come up from the depth of uh, coronavirus pandemic and uh, also another data which has come from China is uh, that that retail sales output has grown by 33.8 percent so that is also you know the consumption is also recovering in China and the mining output out of this uh, uh, industrial growth of 35.1 percent if you segment by it if you say that mining output has grown up by 17.5 percent as compared to 4.9 percent only in December so in these two months it has jumped up like anything then manufacturing has grown up by 39.5 percent and particularly the ferrous metal or the steel uh, related production growth it has grown up by 21.6 percent it's significant so as we keep on telling that for if you want to look at the commodities and particularly for the metals you should look at the china how the china is uh, you know the production is happening and the capacity utilization is happening if it is growing tremendously because china itself is more than 50 percent or an average 50 percent for most of the metals be it uh, uh, steel be it uh, stainless steel be it aluminium be it uh, you know uh, this uh, ferronickel or or the or, or this uh, uh, then be it zinc so any of the metals if you if you want to look at you should look at the china's uh, production and the capacity utilization so this growth in, uh, in 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 this industrial output growth and particularly mining and the steel growth of uh, double digit more than 21 percent and mining growth of 18 17.5 percent itself shows the kind of recovery and the china is uh, is having and uh, in this light of this uh, today this prices in, in chinese local market of the steel prices have jumped up by around 3 3.2 percent on an average around 3 percent so around 20 to 25 dollars per ton the prices of steel has jumped up and also that iron ore price is also recovered to the same extent you know so it has come back to the around 175 dollars per ton on cfr uh, tianjian basis uh, china and uh, if you look at the all the other metals also if you see you see this recovery itself shows that uh, this is a tremendous uh, infrastructure and that uh, growth is happening in china and as i told you many videos before also that i am i continue to be bullish 
or the positive on the metals and commodities uh, because uh, the recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic all over the world would be led by the infrastructure or the government incentivized. As you know that everywhere the government uh, US stimulus is again the third stimulus they have announced 1.9 trillion dollars. Uh, whether in India, whether in China, it will be led by the government uh, uh, announced incentives and the government uh, uh, incentive productions. Uh, so, and infrastructure development. So, that is where because that sentiment or the consumer is still will not uh, come back to this uh, to this pre-COVID uh, level. So, it will take still still it will take some time. So, all this recovery in the growth will be led by the metals and the infrastructure uh, related activities or the infrastructure related stimulus activities and infrastructure means it will be mostly leading to the consumption of higher consumption of metals cements and basic materials so that is why we continue to remain positive and bullish on the metals and uh, steel and uh, related uh, uh, related uh, uh, raw materials you know you can say that uh, all this related raw materials and related uh, which goes into making steel and stainless steels so this is what i just wanted to share my uh, little update about china and uh, the metals uh, market and we continue to remain positive on the metals and continue to you know reiterate why on most of these uh, metal stocks that's it from uh, my side i just uh, wanted to share this little update and uh, if you like, you please put a like and share it with your maximum friends and we'll see you till we again come back with some other uh, update regarding some other idea. Till then, ciao from Neeraj from Moscow. Bye.